This is a 1966 Toyota 2000 GT. This one is done up by AutoArt. My understanding that this is a re-release. Evidently AutoArt had done this car up in die-cast some time back and they've re-released it and this time it's, it has the composite body. It's a very nice looking car. It feels good. Feels like it's a good quality piece and when you hold it in your hand everything is nice and solid. The lines on this car are really super nice. I don't think you could ask for a, a better job on the on the body, the smoothness of it, the paint, everything just looks real good on this car. I think Auto Art has really done a good job with these composite bodies. And their claim to them is that it allows them to be a little more precise. They get a more realistic thickness to the body panels. They say that they can uh, provide the uh, sharper edges and creases than they can with die cast. So I can understand the reasoning for it. But this is a really cool model. This one here is in red. Has wire wheels. has opening panels on it and both front fenders on the left and right side have panels that open up. I'm going to do photographs for the thread that will show all that. On one side you'll find the fluid container and, and the uh, <clears throat> air cleaner element and on the uh, other side you'll find the battery I believe it is. I haven't opened up these compartments yet, but from pictures that I've seen, I think the other side is the battery. But the rear hatch opens, the doors open, the doors have glass on them, typical of the current auto arts. The headlights pop up on it. There's a small switch on the bottom on the left hand side behind the bumper on the, on the undercarriage to the inside of the left front tire. You slide that switch, it'll cause the headlights to pop up and open. If you slide the switch back the other way, it closes the headlights. So that's a pretty cool feature on it. I hope you enjoy this.